it's Don Copeland back here again with the Compress UV printers. We're, once again, we're working on our 600S, our smaller format of the two of the Compress UV printers. What we've got set up here is a jig that holds 96 golf balls. And uh, while I'd love to print 96 golf balls, I don't have 96 golf balls to start off with, number one. Number two, um, we thought that you guys would prefer just to watch us print four and then go watch some ice melt. Because it does take a while to print 96 golf balls. But I wanted to show you how you would do some production to set up and print golf balls on the machine because it's a lot it's a very popular promotional item a lot of times people will donate golf balls to a charity event right and they want to get their company logo out there on it support put their website whatever so we're going to do that i've got it set up here just to print four of these like i said this jig which uh, we had made uh, you can get these made for 100 200 dollars depending on uh, what kind of connections you have with the folks with either a, a water jet or a laser cutter they'll make one of these for you this holds 96 on our 24 by 18 print area. If you really wanted to get creative and didn't mind doing some work in your artwork and laying it out the proper way, you probably could get 120 on here if you really pushed it right by stacking the balls a bit. We just went with a straight dozen across, eight, eight rows deep. So we're going to go ahead and show you. We've set it up now. I'm going to go ahead and load it. Load it in. And we've got our, our RIP software. This is our compress RIP which actually has different cues set up for all the different scenarios. There's a lot more scenarios in uh, UV printing than you would deal with in other types of printing. We, we want to print sometimes just color only. Sometimes we want to print color with a white highlight, not an underbase. As, uh, for instance, if I had a, in here, if I had some orange golf balls, I might want to print white on them instead of just color, right? You, you need to sometimes print like you would a traditional type of print onto a dark substrate, like in t-shirt industry, where you put a white underbase and then color on top of it. But once you get into the uh, UV marketplace, you may be doing back prints, like for, for signs in a restaurant where they have the, the backlit signs where I want to print on the back side of a piece of Plex or, or of acrylic, and then I'm going to back print that with white. You also might have instances where you actually sandwich the color, in between, I mean the white in between two, two layers of color, so it's a two-sided, that you can actually see color, white color. We can set it up to do that. You might have situations where you, you need to be able to create some texture. As I talked about in one of our, our earlier uh, videos we did, we actually printed our own jigs with it. We show you a, a picture of a piece of artwork that we printed out on a canvas that gave texture to it by printing multiple layers of white or, or colors underneath, stacking up, printing the layer of white, printing our colors on top. All those cues are already set up and you can create your own, whatever specialty applications you come up with. We try to address most of them, but it's real simple in the software to set up your own. Enough my rambling about software, let's print some golf balls. The nice thing about this is, is because I can load up 98, 96 golf balls at one time, I can actually go away, come back, and we've got eight dozen golf balls ready to go. It allows my employees to be a lot more efficient, right? It's not like a lot of our competitors on our market. A lot of our competitors may only have an area of 12 by 14, 12 by 18 that you can print on. It doesn't sound like that big of a difference when you look at 24 by 18. But when you start to do the numbers, it's double, triple the size of the print area of the machine in a similar price range. And because we print bi-directionally on certain items, these we use the golf balls. We're going to, we're going to print unidirectionally simply because you'll see the text when I print on this that uh, it's, it's small enough that even me, with my fantastic vision, can't see it. But if you put it under a loop, you can actually read the text, which is roughly about a millimeter high. It's pretty crazy. By the way, during that time, we just printed four golf balls. I want to pull one of these out and give you an idea exactly the detail. I don't know if we can zoom in close enough on that to be able to see, but right there you go. There we are. There we are. Getting closer. Getting closer. There it is, folks. Look at that small text right there, and it's readable. That's the detail that you're going to get from the Compress UV 600S and its big brother, the 1200S. I don't even want to know how many golf balls you can put on the 12 here because it has a print area of 43 and a half by 29 and a half. I'm pretty certain it's somewhere in the area of probably 25, 30 dozen golf balls at a time since we're able to get eight on here. Once again, this is Don Copeland with the Compress UV 600S.